Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Explain This. I'm with the star of the show, Robin Riddle. Robin, I'm, we're in for a doozy today, and I'm ready. <laughs> yes. We're going peptides. Yeah, I Wh- love peptides. Which one are we talking about? Today, first, we're going to talk about MK677, okay. also known as a butamorin. Okay. Okay. Abutamorin MK677. Yes. Okay. So most peptides have a couple of different names. Most of them have numbers with them and all of that. So MK677. Um, abutamorin, this is, even though we're talking about te- peptides, technically this one's a non-peptide growth hormone secretagogue. What is that? We still group it with peptides, though. <laughs> <laughs> so it it's just slightly different. It's not technically classified as a peptide okay. because it works a little bit differently than classic peptides. Um, this one also in some literature is actually classified as a SARM, Selective Androgen Receptor Modulator. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if that's just a marketing thing, like a SARM. They, 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 yeah, you hear SARM, you know, they put the big muscular guy on it and it sells, whatever. Um, so not completely sure on that one, but non-peptide growth hormone secretagogue is technically what this one falls within. Is there any others that we've talked about that fit in that category? No. So Moreland's not that? No, those are all true peptides. So this one works a little bit differently. Yes. I think it's really cool. Let's do it. Um, so uh, MK677 or ibutamorin works by mimicking the action of ghrelin, which is your hunger hormone. Okay. And it binds to ghrelin receptors in the brain. And in doing that, it increases IGF-1 levels and um, growth hormone levels. Interesting. So it's not actually working on the cells in the body the way that traditional peptides do. It's working on the pituitary in the brain to like trick it into doing these things that we want it to do. I'm also kind of thinking that that would make you less hungry because of the ghrelin thing. It increases ghrelin. It oh. triggers it. So that is the one downside to this. Mimicking that ghrelin can actually increase appetite and uh. it can actually increase insulin levels as well. Interesting. So this is not for someone who's a diabetic or has known insulin resistance because it could potentially have an effect on that. Would you gain weight on it? Is it for people who like want to lose weight or gain weight? So it can do a lot of different things depending on what else you do with it. Okay. Um, so it can help you gain weight okay. if you are like going through a bulking phase and you want to put on a lot of weight, a lot of muscle. Mm-hmm. It actually increases appetite a little bit. So it can help with that. Um, but it also helps significantly with weight loss. Just depends on what you're doing with it. <laughs> How does it help with weight loss? <laughs> depends on what you're doing with it. <laughs> so um, it helps with muscle building. So it's actually going to help trigger and build those muscles. Ah, uh, okay. And increasing lean muscle mass, we're going to lose weight with it because we're triggering the body to use fat stores for energy. Ah. Uh, so the more muscle you have, the more fat you burn. So we're increasing muscle so we're burning more fat kind of like the idea you you actually lift weights to to lose weight not necessarily yes. cardio because yes. you're burning you're burning fat for long periods of time or yes so okay. we are activating those muscles we're making those muscles bigger okay um the uh, other thing that this can do is actually reduce muscle wasting so some of the studies that they did um they took a group of people and they put them on an extremely low protein diet which normally would cause you to lose muscle because the body's going to eat your muscle looking right for what it needs right this actually protected against that so if we're doing you know a diet where we're trying to cut and get really lean a lot of times you'll lose muscle when you do that taking something like this can actually help to preserve that muscle mass Interesting. So yeah. this seems to be something you'd use in conjunction with something else or with some other uh, you're using it in tandem with stuff. Yes. This is not just like, oh, and so I didn't mention this one is taken as a pill. So it's an orally active, which oh. is normally peptides are not orally active. This one is an orally active one that you can take um, on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, but for this peptide, non-peptide, um, you have to be doing the right things with it. It's not like pop a pill every morning and I'm going to lose weight. <laughs> it's I'm working in the gym. I am doing all the things that I need to be doing. I'm doing what I need to do diet wise. And this is going to help me get there faster. 
Got it. So you need to be lifting, you need to yeah. be working out with You need to one. be, yeah, if you want to get the actual benefits out of it, as far okay. as the muscle building, the weight loss, all of that, okay. it's going to work well with a good diet and exercise. Now you mentioned you can take it on an empty stomach. Mm-hmm. Is there any side effects with that? Can you can you feel bad? Is there anything you're saying? Mm-mm, typically, no. Um, so again, the, the big thing that we see side effect wise with this is the potential for increased appetite. Okay. But again, if it's taken first thing in the morning, you're already going to eat throughout the day super interesting. versus, you know, there are some peptides out there that increase hunger and you take them at bedtime and that's torture because you're hungry and then you go to bed on an empty stomach. So this one, first thing in the morning, you may feel a little bit more hungry with it. Long term, it can cause a little bit of water retention in some studies. Okay. This is usually one that I recommend people cycle two, three, four months on, take a couple months off. We're okay. on and off of this one. Um, other big benefits that we get in it are also improved bone density. And so there's actual dosing for this just for osteopenia and osteoporosis, Interesting. which is lower than the normal dosing. So uh, we we can use it just for that bone density, even if we're not looking for the muscle building and the weight loss effect. So I'm hearing muscle building Weight loss, Mm -hmm. osteoporosis. Yep. Who else might you put on this? Um, It helps to improve sleep. Mm. So it's, you know, it's not something that I'd be like, oh, you can't sleep every night. Take this peptide. But it's just an added benefit to it. It helps to improve sleep as well. Um, And then overall anti-aging properties. So if we want to look younger, feel younger, be younger peptides are the way to go. Um, This one is typically dosed 25 milligrams every day. And again, it's a pill taken first thing in the morning. Um, You can do lower doses, 10 to 12.5 milligrams per day. Again, if we're looking more for that osteoporosis benefit versus the muscle benefits. Um, So again, good candidates. If we're trying to build muscle, we're trying to lean down. We need to increase the appetite. This is going to help do that. Um, Again, osteopenia, osteoporosis, and anybody who wants the anti-aging benefits. I love the fact that you can take it in a capsule and you don't have to give yourself a shot or get a shot. Yes. Um, Is this kind of like a good, I want to get into peptides. Is this like a good starter non-peptide? Um, it, yes, it definitely can be. Um, cause it, traditional peptides, like we've talked about with the Samoralin yep. and things like that, you know, it, it's a bit more strict. You've got okay. to have an empty stomach in the evenings. Um, a lot of them are done injectable, uh, or in, um, trochee or trit form, which dissolves underneath the tongue. This is one of the few that is a capsule. So mm. that makes it easier to get into. Um, and yeah, it, it's just, it's an, it's an easy one to start into. I love it. Yeah. MK677? Yes. A- Abutamorin. Abutamorin. All right, guys. MK677, you heard it here. Robin, just explain it to you. Rewatch this video. Uh, if not, watch the next one. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank y'all for hanging out. We'll see you next Don't time. Don't go away.